All right, y'all. One, one. First, foremost, I want to say, uh, give infinite, infinite uh, prayers and to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Shem Kadash. Double to the elders, apostles, GMS, peace and blessing, salutations once again to the whole flag. All right, those that follow after the Lamb, which is name is All right, we want to get into a, a quick lesson on uh, how the, the flesh. It's a battle, right? It's a it's an intense battle between the flesh and the spirit, right? And they're always worn. There's always a contention between the two, man. And that's the, the the fight within the inner man. All right. Um, as we always uh do, man, we want to get get in these scriptures and hope to edify it too, man, and to show you, brothers, you know, what's really going on between the flesh and the spirit. So, uh, start me off with uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 5. This is the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 5. It says, For they that are after the flesh. Do mind the things of the flesh. Go up to four. Go up to four. Come. This is Romans 8 and 4. It says that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Right. So the men of the Lord, the true followers of Yahweh Shai, we don't supposed to walk after the flesh, but after the spirit, man. All right. That's what that's what keeps us uh keeps our spirit and keeps us uh whole, man. Supposed to walk after the spirit, not the flesh. All right, because it's going to continue, it's going to tell you what's going on with the flesh. Go ahead up. It says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Yeah, because of, they do mind the things of the flesh. All right, and the flesh is the flesh is also synonymous with what the world, man. How you, you know, it, it's I'm, I'm getting on small things, but. How your hair looks, you know, how your image looks. Which we do get, we we care about our image, but in a worldly sense, you know. This is what the flesh does, you know, and, and it act, also it gets into uh the flesh gets into the different lusts, man. The different appetites of the of the mind. All right. Go ahead, Doc. It says, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Yeah. But they that are after the spirit, uh, do I guess it's say do mind the things of the spirit? How, nah, but they but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit, which you know it said mind at the top, you know yeah. the ones that mind the flesh, but he's saying those that are after the spirit pretty much mind the things of the spirit as well. Yeah, you mind the things of the spirit. All right, and the spirit is locked and king into what these scriptures, man, to your how about you shot? All right. And all and all things that come with that, man. You're locking your king to the to, to heavenly things, man. Uh, the brotherhood, and I'm just bringing out small examples: the brotherhood, reading, all right, teaching, exhorting brothers, man, all right. Engage with the camp, man. Being active within the camp, okay. And that's just a small inkling of as many other things. Go ahead. It says, because the carnal mind is enmity against our power, for it is not subject to the law of our power, neither indeed can be. You, look, you skip six. I skip six, my bad. It says, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Yeah, so that's right. To be carnally minded is death, man. If you always triggered and temp, your, 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 temp, your, your, uh, your temp is always on high, you know, different things, people of the world can trigger you to be carnal or to do things carnal. Your mind's always on carnality. You know, you mind that, man. You asking for it. But it said, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. All right. Which that's the mindset you should you should be in, man. Learning how to, to tame yourself, learning how to move uh, uh back and forth within the, within society, man. How to think, how to think yourself out of situations, man. All right. Because at the end of the day, we're gonna have to use our minds, our spiritual minds, all right, to 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 basically move throughout this kingdom, man. But what the scripture says, Satan as a roaring lion seeking to who he may devour. He's not devouring those that are spiritual, he's the only devouring those that are carnal, man. Those that are those are people that 
are pretty much have an appetite for lust and, and debt and things of the world, man. And it's a and like I said, this this whole lesson is, is based on it is and it is a battle, man. It is a battle to to uh keep that that part of you uh asleep or dead, man. I mean, I, we got a little more in that thing. Nah, that. That's oh, go to go to eight. Go about go about to about go about a nine to nine. Right? Well, Read about nine. You end it right there. It says this eight. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please the most high. That's right. But ye, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so, be that the spirit of our power dwell in you. Uh -huh. Read that last little part. It says, oh, my bad, my bad. I thought that was it. It's a lot of you, brother. I don't know what I'm looking at. It says, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so, be that the spirit of our power dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of my shot, Yahweh Shai, he is none of his. Yeah, and the most I ain't dealing with you, man. Yeah. All right? You had something like you had something. Come on. This is a rod 14 and 20. It says, blessed is the man that do it meditate good things and wisdom and that reason it of holy things by his understanding. Because of, uh, huh? I said, break it down. Go ahead. Come. So basically, you know, again, to be fleshly minded, it's just it's just the minor things. All right. That uh, like you say, man, that's, that's uh, unprofitable to you. All right. But it says, blessed is the man that do meditate. The good things in wisdom, which is the spiritual things, all right? The spiritual things allow you to, to separate from this world. That's why the Lord said the wisdom from above, all right, is peaceable, all right? It, it has no impartiality, but it says the, the wisdom from beneath, which is the flesh, is sensual, is devilish, all right? It caused you to go off, man, all right? That's why Paul struggled in the flesh, man, because Paul was the chief of sinners. He said it. Because of his flesh, this spirit didn't want to do it, but it was the flesh, man. And we always speak about that. You know how heavy the world is concerning, uh, you know, I don't know if Jake, I don't know if Jake really don't think the world heavy. I, like the world is heavy to fight against, bro. You yeah, got that uh, That's funny you say that because later on in the, in, the, in the lesson, I was going to say that, that this brother here, me and his brother had many talks, all right? You know, just you know, having everyday locker room talk amongst men. And it, one of the things we always come up with time and time again is that this, this world is strong, man. Yeah. All right? This world is strong, man. It's, 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 it's ba basically, if you're not grounded and, and you're not grounded in the Yahweh Shah, you can be vacuumed and sucked into any any form or fashion of any any anything, man. There's many traps, all right? There's many traps and, and, and holes in this damn world, man, until you fall in, man. The woman, money, you name it. You can We can go on and on all day. All right, and that flesh get triggered by those things, man. The things that you done in the world. So that's why you have you have to. You have, and I got a scripture too to back it up. Okay. Right. That's why you got to. That shit has to be dead, man. All right, and that brother, the brother Kabar, it's the spirit. He pulled that, but I, I'm kind of way ahead of him at the top of that scripture. He he put it in there, but we're gonna get to it. You know, mm -hmm. you, you, probably had, you had something to say or finish something off? Nah, it was. Uh... Just to pick it back on what you said, it says um the sorrow of the world work at death, which again the flesh is the flesh is uh the flesh is pretty much attached to the world, Yaka. Now that's that's yeah. the that's the end all be all, bro. Like all right, it's just a mirror image, all right, of 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 the world. When you look at our flesh, man, all you see is the world, man. All right, because there's no way to there's no way to see if a man is godly from his flesh. Now it's one you can see in a man gate. You can, in a way, about tell what he is, but then again, that don't tell the entire story because, again, what that man's spirit is like, all right? What, what is his spiritual fruit, all right? His spiritual increase, you know? Because, again, we don't look, you know, the men of the Lord, you, they look like, you know, we look like men and people in the world. Not in that sense, but, you know, we look like a regular Jake, man, you know? But what, uh, what separates us from the world Again, it's the spirit, all right? It's the spirit that separates us from the flesh, man. It says, uh, 
I'm going to read this 2 Corinthians 7 and 11. It says, for behold, this self-same thing that ye sorrow after they godly sought, what carefulness it wrought in you, yea, what clearing of yourselves, yea, what indignation, yea, what fear, yea, what vehement desire, yea, what zeal, yea, what revenge. And all things ye have approved yourselves to be clear in this matter if you don't work in the flesh, man. All right? Only if you're not working in the flesh, you'll clear yourselves of all these things, man. And that, again, the flesh is, you know, that's pretty much what the devil has hold of. The devil can't, uh, uh, the devil can't control your spirit. All right. But your flesh. All right. He got, he got green. He got the green light to your flesh, man. You got it. Out. Yeah. That flesh will have you, that flesh will have you so out of, out of your damn mind. You be doing yeah. things and saying shit that you wouldn't usually say, man. Yeah. Even, even with your brother, that flesh will have you, uh, basically tripping, man. Yeah. All right. You but your spirit wants to do the right thing. Your spirit, you know, you you know, you get into it with a brother. Your spirit wants to apologize. You know what I'm saying? Your spirit wants right. to make things right. But the that flesh, it be saying, "Fuck that, you know, fuck all that, man." Yeah. I don't. I ain't, I'm I'm right. You know. You know, and yeah. it's a battle, man. It's a literal. It's a spiritual battle. We are at war, man. All right. It's like that guy. That what that guy named Alex Jones. The, the the actual title of his his website, Info Wars, you know, it says uh, a war of the mind or something like that. Yeah, that's what we're about five and sixteen and this read on. Read, you know, I had one in Galatians for you and two too. That's crazy. You was in it. You went in there. This Galatians five and sixteen, it says, "This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh." Out the gate, walk in the spirit, man. Any any altercation, anything that you run into within this society, man. All right, even with this truth, you got to stay spiritual, man. All right, that's how you conquer. That's how you conquer lust. That's how you conquer these demons, man. All right, that's how you conquer these people. Mainly the mainly the, in the, uh, the Edomites, man. Even in two thirds of our own people, you conquer them by staying spiritual, man. There's no way these things can um can uh, you get defeated by these things. Keep going out. It says, for the flesh lusted against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one to the other so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Read that again. That's There you go. That's the battle right there, man. The hindrance, yeah. That's the battle between the two. That's why the name of this video, your, your, your uh, flesh versus the spirit, man. This is And this is the part of it. This is the battle right here, man. It's a literal war going on within you, man. Go ahead, uh. It says, for the flesh lusted against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary, the one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you were. You got yeah, righteousness yeah. and wickedness yeah. on you. It's on you. You got it? It's no, actually got it. living on you. <laughs> it's yeah. like the elder, you know, it actually lives with you. So your flesh is your wickedness, that's your darkness, all right? And your spirit is your light, is your righteousness, man. And the Lord put put a balance on us as we're actually living, man. Now, how incredible that is, like, you know, from the standpoint of the way the Lord create things, and like, that, that lets you know that everything is a balance, man. You got it? Yeah, man. Uh, keep going, I, you got some more meat. Con. Whole lot more meat in that thing, man. It says, 18, but if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Huh. Yeah, because the law, it says to prove that the law, it says the law is for a, a wicked man. <laughs> it's not for a righteous man, in other words, you know? So right. that's what it mean by ye are not under the law. It don't mean we still don't re rehearse the righteous acts. You know, Jacob said, oh, they saying they're above the law. No, the law, it says it's not for a holy man. Uh, You know, it's for those who are wicked. Now, I'll paraphrase that's a lot, bro. It says, not the works, now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. It's going it's, it's to get straight into it. What is the, what is the manifestation of, of the flesh, man? What the flesh brings forth out of you. All right? Keep going. Go ahead. It says adultery. Yeah, it says adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness. Oh, man, it says lasciviousness. Being a being a being a 
You know, a we ain't seen a lot demon. of sick in guys, man. That's a right? lustful demon. Yeah, poom poom bandits, man. You just, you just, you Pepe Le Pew, you out your goddamn mind over, over the box, man. Over the woman, man. But keep going. <laughs> yeah. a whole nother note, man. Go ahead. Ida idolatry, witchcraft, hatred. Oh, man. Variance, emulations, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelance, and such like. Right. And all oh. these are and all these are what also what characteristics of the world, man. Come on. You, you, you shouldn't be in that the, the two thirds of the world has has that 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 uh manifestation of, of the flesh on them. That right there, he just said it are these man and explain what are these characteristics of the flesh and these are characteristics that what people in the world have, man. You shouldn't carry that on and you shouldn't carry that on in the truth, man. You have to learn to uh you have to learn. The, the dead that shit, man. Go ahead, I right. got some more. Okay. It's gonna get down in a minute. Let me let me let me let me bring out the word flesh, what it means. It got some one one on one one re one thing in here to you know yeah, go to ahead. come closer. All right, this is the word flesh in that same in that same scripture in a blue in a blue letter. Strong's G forty five sixty one. Sonics. Yep. Sonics. The, sens the sensuous nature of the man, the animal nature. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, because of, you become like a <laughs> the brute beast. beast. Yeah. The beast like, yeah. Animal nature. To be of the flesh is animalistic, man. You impulsive. You're not even mm. thinking. It's just like an animal. Animal impulsive, man. It just yeah. do things off instinct. All right. It says the flesh. This is the one I want to get. This is in the fourth one. It says denotes mere human nature, the earthly nature of man, the earthly nature of man, apart from divine influence, and therefore prone to sin and opposed to God, man. <laughs> <laughs> what you know how to get rock. that? It's heat rock, man. That's heat rock. I'm gonna read it again. It yeah. says the flesh denotes mere human nature. All right. Yeah. It's Meaning it ain't close. It matter of fact, let me look up what mirror means. Mirror means trifling. Yeah. Oh <laughs> man. <laughs> it denotes trifling human down. nature. When you look the word mirror up right there, the earthly nature of man apart from the divine influence, which the divine influence is the spirit. You know? Yeah, when you are the so it's apart from it. Yeah, you do some trifling shit, man. Trifling, yeah. Yeah, you you you, you really be out here, man, wilding, man, as we say down here, you know. Come on. It says, and therefore prune. Prone, to sin. Man. Without a doubt. Yeah. Prone to better. sin, man. Going on. What is sin? The transgression of the law, sins, commandments of the most high, man. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Susceptible to sin. And opposed to God. Yeah, you opposing them to the most high, man. That's why I hey, said that's, I think you read it earlier. It said you enmity with the most high, man. Yeah, enmity, yeah. That's why your flesh can't dwell in the presence of the Lord, y'all can know, because it's opposed to him. God. That's why whenever we you know do go in the presence of the Lord, we go in spirit because the flesh is completely opposed to the most high, man. All right. Um. Uh, yeah, that, that was it. And that let me finish up. It says, "As as I do back in twenty one, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of our power." All those things that the bird read: idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, barrenness, wrath. All right you know, fornication, you name it, should not in, in, inherit the kingdom of heaven, man. All right? But go ahead. It's not going to show you, now it's going to get into the fruits of the spirit, man. And what and what, what, what will give you the, uh, the ability to inherit the kingdom of heaven? Go ahead. 
It says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. God. And this is the main, this is one of the main points right 23, 24. And they that are the Mashiachs have crucified the flesh. With the affections and lust, you didn't you did the flesh, man. Yeah, you didn't you didn't, you didn't did that shit, man. I think it's another scripture that said, uh, 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 I, I got it too. It talks about putting under your body in subjection, all right. Um, and uh, basically, uh, killing the old man, man, because we're, we're supposed to become what new, new, new creatures, new men under your how about shot, man, all right. Well, we're, we're dead and the things that we used to do in the world, the the temperament, all right, the way we used to move, we don't move that, like that no more. We don't even be around the people that move like that anymore. Uh, even talking like that, man. It's a changing of the of the of the spirit, changing of the the, the uh the first with the inner person, and it's going when you when you correct the inner person, guess what? The outer person is gonna get corrected too, man. That's how you supposed to that's how you supposed to be, man. That's why that scripture says, I believe back in Matthew, about uh, first you supposed to clean clean the what, the in, the inside of the platter that the outside may uh, be uh, clean also, man. That's, uh, that's you know that's also going with you, man. Because you got a lot of people they want to clean the outside of themselves to make themselves look righteous, the big the big flares on the garments, the biggest bracelets. But guess what? Inwardly, they just a, they just a, like this brother wins. They trifling, man. Yeah. It's a bunch of brute beasts, niggas. Which and it doesn't profit you, man. You got to clean first the inside of you, man. Make sure that your mind is correct, man. Make sure that your your spirit is is correct. All right, because you best believe that that fight, that war, that battle is still going on. It's gonna be going on until who come back? Yeah, how was shot, man? But you read it to the end. Read Galatians uh, uh, all the way to the end. I, it says, 25, if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. Yeah, man. And you got to mean, you got to do that, man. All right. You can't, you can't, because that's what the flesh begins to do. You begin to uh, want vain glory, preeminence. You get puffed up with knowledge, you know, different stupid shit, man. To where you start to, you know, you, you start to walk. You start to walk with your brother, man. All right? But that's on a whole another note. Go ahead. Uh, and if you don't have anything. Yeah, I got something. You got something? Bring out yeah, yours, then I'm going to bring out mine real fast. I got, I got All mine. right. When you going to get to that Corinthians 9? Because this this that I got going to that first Corinthians 9 and putting under your body. And what you had just spoke about before I finished reading it out. Okay. I wanted, I wanted that... Uh, you don't gotta yeah, I ain't gonna get it right now. Yeah, but well, anyways, I'm gonna read this just going into what, what you were saying. This Galatians 2 and 18. It says, For if I build again the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. And speak on it. Oh, go ahead, you got it, brother. Right. So it says, if I build again the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. That's why I say every day. Uh, the inward man is being renewed day by day, and the outward man is being what killed all the day long. But it says, if I build again the things which I destroyed or destroyed, you automatically make yourself a transgressor because it says, uh, you return back into what your vomit, man. All right, when you go away from the adultery, the fornication, the idolatry, all right, the lying, the you know, fuck the messing over brothers, or you know, uh, stealing. Okay, and then you do it again, you automatically make yourself a transgressor, which again, when you try, tr uh, uh, sin is transgression of the law. It says, for I, through the law, am dead to the law that I might live unto the entire power. I am crucified with the Mashiach Yahweh Nevertheless, I live, though yet you're crucified with, with, the, with, with Yahweh, that, I mean, I was shy. That's that's the way we live, man. Remember again, he was crucified. 
with life. Go ahead. And also being AKA, I'm dead to the world, man. Yeah. You know, I'm Don't dead know. to the world. Even though I live it, I, I wish I live within me, but I'm dead to the world. Dead to the us, world. To, us and the likings of the world, man. I'm dead, I'm yeah. dead to that shit, man. You're not going to catch me out here doing the things that I used to do in the world, man. You know? He's about to say that. Go ahead. It says, yet, yet, wait, I'm I'm going to read 20 again. I am crucified with the my shock, y'all was shot. Because remember, he was crucified. He was X'd out. All right? Nevertheless, I live. So though yet being crucified with our own big brother, how we still live with him too? Fire. It says, yet not I, but the Mashiach living in me, which is in the spirit. Because he can right. only dwell in your spirit. You see? That's right. That's, that's right. the only place where the Yahweh shot. That's why he say, I knock and uh and uh I knock in at the door. Any man would enter and let he would let him come sup with him. I paraphrase that bad. I, I got it. It's a revelation, dog. So like, right. It says, uh, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith of the son of our power, who is the Mashiach Yahweh Shai, who loved me and gave himself for me. That's right. So, come on, man. You know, that speaks for itself. So we now live by faith, all right, through the spirit, okay, the Rakagwa Dash, which empowers the faith, all right? It gives the energy to, to our faith, man, the Rakagwa Dash, the, the spirit, all right? It boosts our faith morale, all right, that we may serve the man that was crucified with us, man, and ultimately our heavenly father. You got it. Yeah, get that. You can get that Corinthians and then get your letter. Get, uh, start at about 22 and okay. read that. Yeah. This is what I had quoted, though, just to get it, because I had tore it up a little bit. This uh Revelation 3 and 20. It says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, which is your mind. If any man hear my voice and open the door, all right, I will come into him and will sup with him and he will meet the intent to your spirit, you know? That's right. I, I, I wanted to read it correct, like, like, bro. First Corinthians 9 and 27, right? Yeah, start about, to be honest, start about 24. 24, cool. Uh, first Corinthians 9 and 24. It says, Know ye not, First Corinthians 9 and 24, they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. Right. And what's and that every prize is what the kingdom of heaven, the prize is that, that that crown, man, that blessed crown that Yahweh Shai is going to give the 144,000, man. So when you run, all right, when you run this race in this thing, all right, you have to run, you have to run and understand what type of race you're running. Are you running sprints? Are you running a marathon? Are you running a triathlon? Because this was just the truth is like a triathlon, it's like a, it's like a marathon. It's all type of obstacles in your way. You gotta swim. You gotta run. You gotta you gotta uh, climb. And those are the different hails that you might catch in this thing. So you gotta understand what are you running, all right? What what's up? What you up against, man? So being being one that, that can understand that, how how much how much how much I run this race? Because I didn't seen guys run this race fast, and guess what? They burn themselves out. I didn't seen guys want to go too slow and get what left behind. So you want to be one that be in the be in the mix, in the middle, having a steady pace, man. All right. And when 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 you have a steady pace and it's true, you actually you actually can process things much better. All right. Why are you running this race? Why are you running this this marathon? Like you know this this truth. You're able to process things. You you can identify when things come against you. Oh man, that's that's Satan right there, man. All right, that's Satan. Oh, that's, that's that flesh coming back out. You can identify it by running a pace, a steady pace. You're not you're not caught up in, 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 in yourself. You're not caught up in different things. You're able to process, all right? But it says, uh, so run that you may attain, man. You got to run, a, a, run, a, run the right race, man. Keep going up. It says, and every man that striving for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now, yeah. they... Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, 
but we and incorruptible. Yeah, the incorruptible crown is what? All that power from on high of Yahweh Shah was shot, those spiritual powers, that crown, all right, that the kingdom, man, and the and the benefits of the kingdom. That's what that's our incorruptible crown, all right, to be changed, man. That's what we look. That's what a spiritual man is looking for. Not not to receive a uh, uh, corrupt is in a Super Bowl, <laughs> Bro. NBA bullshit that's coming up. Whatever other goddamn bullshit that it, you know, people get all into it, man. But our our this thing of ours, our race, this this thing of ours that we in, man. We want to receive the incorruptible crown that cannot be taken away from us. That cannot be cannot be uh, uh, pulled apart, man, from us, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be internal. It's, it's gonna be forever. All right, keep going up. Yeah, when if I could real quick, I, I want to look in that word corruptible. It says uh, Strong's G fifty three forty nine, Thartos. Yeah. Thartos. It says uh, decay, perishing. All right, uh, like you say. So you're looking for a perishing crown, man. And technically, a crown that perish is really not a crown, all right? Because crowns are made to what? Last forever, man. That's why the Lord said, I'm going to set a, a crown or a them of righteousness on their heads. And uh, and what does it does in Baruch chapter 5, I believe? Uh, we're not in the scriptures. Let me make sure. Yeah. It says uh, a glory... Uh, so lucky. Yeah, uh, uh, set a dear them on thy head for glory for the everlasting. Which, again, crowns are made to last forever, man. They're not made to be put on and taken off. That's why it says uh, of, uh, in Lamentation that the crown that fell from our head, man. All right? Because it wasn't meant to fall. A crown is set up there to what? To uh, always be established. That's why I said be incorruptible according to eternity. But when you get the word Right there, it says uh, to corrupt, to destroy. It says that in the opinion of the Jews, the temple was corrupted or destroyed when anyone defiled or in the slightest degree damaged in anything or if its guardians neglected their duties. But this is the point. To lead away a Christian church, which we know the Christian church is, from the state of knowledge and holiness in which it ought to abide. <laughs> Meaning, what state of mind? The mindset it ought to be in holiness and spiritual, but it's to lead it away. It's to lead a man away from holiness and spiritness, which holiness sets you apart. But what men wants to do is get, get you with the in crowd, all right, that you may be destroyed, man. All right, all right. perished. You see, that was the point. I that's the one I wanted to get. It Thank says you. to ruin, it says to ruin moral influences. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's heavy right there, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. And a strong definition, bro. But I keep going. It says, many pretty much to ruin your morality, man. Your morality towards righteousness, man. It says, now they do it for a corruptible crown, but we're an incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as the one that beat it the F. Yeah, you don't want to be one that beat it to air, man. Or seem as though you beat it to air. All right? You want to be in and locked in, man. Actually doing this uh, for, for, for that crown, man. For that for that incorruptible crown. All right? This is the last one. The last one, the point, 27 the point. It says, but I keep under my body and bring into subjection. What? What do you keep under his body? And keep in subjection. That old man, the, the flesh, man. Come. And it's what we have to do. We have to constantly keep keep in the subjection in this flesh. Because this flesh is what allows us to go off, man. Have, you, you know, with this flesh, man, you have a lot of bugged out thoughts, man. I mean, sh real quick, you, you could be minding yes. in the store. You would think of some wild, all Wild shit, shit bro. Yeah, you right, huh? You know? You got that demon of doubt. Lives in that flesh too, man. You gotta, you gotta constantly keep that motherfucker at bay. All right. Um, Cause your thoughts, man. Give me that one in Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, press it down. I got you. 
Yeah, the yeah, the food, like, music, bomb, um, many things. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I got you, bro. Yeah, it's heavy. It says I cancel with the, the the things that that's heavy upon the. It's a, that's the second address for routine, I think. Is it? This is uh, it's wisdom of oh, Solomon. It's wisdom of Solomon fourteen. No, 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 no. Hold up. Oh, you, you want the other one? I got the one in wisdom of Solomon. I mean, second address fourteen. I want the one in wisdom of Solomon. All right, come, come, come. Yeah, I was, I was uh. Get that one. You got too, if it's cool. Come, this uh. No, it's, it's, it's uh. Nine and fourteen and fifteen. That's where it's at. Okay, I read that one. This wisdom of Solomon. Nine and fourteen. Yup, yup, yup. It says, "I had the one that said, let go from the mortal thoughts and cast away the birds of man, put off the weak nature, set yeah. aside the thoughts that are heavy unto thee." That's right. the one I had. This, this the one I know. This one, this, this one you want. This uh, wisdom of Solomon nine and fourteen. It says, "For the thoughts of mortal men are miserable, right? And our devices are but uncertain." And why are they miserable? Why are our thoughts are uncertain? Because we're in this flesh. This minute, yeah. right? And give me um, Second Peter chapter two about the change of darkness, man. Why? Because of that. All right. And the reason why we have these these miserable thoughts. Because we're in this flesh, we're not. We don't have our glorious bodies, man. That we, that our minds uh, will be unlocked, man. All right, having full access of our our mind, spirit, and body, man. We're in this. We're in this hellhole, man. Only, only when you how about Shannon Shai come back to elect, all right, all right, and ushering in the kingdom of heaven, we'll have that. But now we got to deal with these 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 muzzled, starved, miserable thoughts, man. That that press on you, that flesh. This is what the flesh does to you, man. Go ahead, I. Con, uh, it says, uh, for the thoughts of men are miserable, and our devices are but uncertain. Because in Proverbs nineteen and twenty one, it says there are many devices in a man's heart. All right, like y'all cannot say. So it's many thoughts. It says uh, it's a rock that a man mind wants to tell him seven more things than a watchman, man. <laughs> You know, Jake meaning what? Jake thoughts all over the place, man. Yeah, right? man. you want to tell you seven thoughts, more man. things, a complete amount of things. Really, when your mind want to tell you a lot of things, that's for that's confusion, because your mind is supposed to be really set upon holy things. Meaning you you not wandering all all over the place, because a wandering mind is the devil's playoffs. That's you know, quote a saying one we say. It says uh. Back in 15, though, for the corruptible body, press it down the soul and the earthly tabernacle, wear it down the mind that music upon many things. There you go, yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, muzzle up on many things, or music, music upon any, many things, man. All right, this flesh weighs you down, man. Only only when you, you begin to conquer that through the spirit, you're able to, you're able to be free, man. And that's thinking of thinking up on spiritual things, having a spiritual vibration on you, man. All right, I had this, I had the one, I, I got it, I got it right here for you. Uh, second this, Peter, yeah, second Peter's two and four. I got that too. I got it. All right, go ahead. Come on, second Peter two and four. For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into the chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. Right, and who are those Bodies. angels, man? We are those angels, man. That are cast down to these these chains of darkness. Which is, which are these bodies, man? That's right. right. Which 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 uh which govern that body? Which one thing that actually wrestles with this, these bodies and these chains of darkness is what the flesh, man. The, the flesh keeps you off. You know, it's it's, it's a constant. That's what this 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 lesson is about. It's a constant battle. It's a constant war in between the flesh and the spirit, man. All right. And you have, and you as as that person, you have to you have to constantly endure it, man. Constantly keep yourself on the right path, in the right mind frame, all right. To to uh, actually subdue the, the flesh, all right. Let me see some. That one, boy, Paul. I got the one with Paul. Two, Paul gonna get down, man. Uh, what you got? Cause I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end it on on this one in a little bit. What you got? Um, uh. I got second address 14. 
that I I just kind of read uh and I'm holding I still got more in Wisdom Asylum at nine. Okay. And and I got Sirach 37. And we're gonna get them first and then we're gonna end it, we're gonna end it with uh Romans chapter seven and eighteen. Okay, let me finish in Wisdom Asylum at nine for you then, because I still got one more verse for you. It says, Marie 15 again, for the corruptible body presses down the soul and the earthy tabernacle weighed down the mind that music upon many things. And hardly do we guess aright at things that are upon earth, and with labor do we find the things that are before us, but the things that are in heaven who has searched out, which was the point. And uh, so let me get to the 14, second Andrew 14. It says, let go from the 14 and 14 mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature. Because again, the weak nature is the flesh, man. That's the weakness that's on you, Jake, the flesh. The Lord made the spirits, all right, perfect, man. All yeah. right, as a perfect constitution, you know? And yeah, that flesh keep you up. Add to to add to you that flesh keep you in a that flesh had to deal with uh being emotional too man come all right that flesh have you all emotional you know Jake Jake down there be trying to explain himself down there crying to you and shit howling sweating tripping man all right when you spirit you 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 deal with a calm collect mind man and you able to process with with men are saying you able to process situations. And, and, and think straight, man. When you you in that flesh, man, you you like a you like a, a goddamn bull, man. You like a dog. raging fucking dog, man. You can't even you can't even think. You know. That's why you gotta be in the spirit. And we was talking a while back, man. This this spirit is this spirit is like the kryptonite to to this world, the kryptonite to Esau Edom, man. You have to constantly possess that possess that, man. Cause what that crooked knight does to Superman, it makes him weak, right? Yeah. Then that kills his ass, man. So that's what we gotta we gotta possess. We gotta possess this the spiritual crooked knight, man, to the to our flesh. Because that, I'm gonna say something too. Now we out here, we out here getting on our enemies, but guess what? The main person that we gotta be getting on constantly is ourselves, the man in the mirror. That's 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 where that war at with that man in that mirror, man. Mm -hmm. You gotta you 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 know before before anything you gotta you gotta you gotta deal with yourself. That's why the scripture say uh, uh constantly examine ourselves that you may be in the faith. You gotta get on your goddamn self sometime, man. You know you be fucking late to camp. All right, you know you be bullshitting, you don't be paying attention when a brother be talking to you and shit. All right, and one you know, brothers in the camp or uh, you know, elder brothers or whoever. You know what you be doing. One thing about Jake, man, Jake has a conscience. Jake know what he be doing, man. Jake know you, you Jake knows that spirit or them demons be pulling at him too, man. But it's not up to me to correct him. It's that's you. That's your battle. You know what I'm saying? I can help out, I can give advice, but you gotta take the advice, you know. Keep going out. Yeah, before like you say, uh before going undefeated, like you say, you <laughs> you gotta been away undefeated with yourself before you could defeat everybody, man. So like you said, we fighting. If we're in a battle, you gotta have your 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 body under you in order to take other bodies down. A literal battle, right? That's right. Because again, your body will get to you and you in a compromise, you in, in a battle with somebody and take you out, man. If you're not constitutionally sound, you got it. Yeah, you, you Jacob ready to want to go to war and he got a hamstring. He pull the hamstring. Yeah, you, gotta, <laughs> yeah, you pull the hamstring. <laughs> yeah, you pull the hamstring. You. You I don't want to fuck it right here yesterday, y'all. And now you know we were talking, we were punching the bag and shit. Man, I was fucking sleeping. Man, Ma, I caught a fucking hammy, a him, uh, what, what the fuck, man? I don't know. Most Charlie Hawk right here, my seat. Oh man, bro. Yeah, man. So you gotta be, you gotta be sound and physically fit with yourself, man. All right. Yeah. That's from head to toe. You gotta be, you gotta be locked in with yourself. You gotta know. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta really get on this old man's ass, man. All right, which is you, the man in the mirror. That's the battle, man. Conquering yourself. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, I. 
Yeah. One man would say, how how can we be perfect in in imperf- you know, in, in the, in where we can't be perfect at, we can't complete it. We can be completed, right. man. It's all about, like you said, attacking it, man. Like, you got to be able to, you know, attack it. It says, uh, that was it when I had in the 14, oh, Sirach 37. Okay. It says, and let the, Sirach 37 and 13, and let the counsel of thy own heart stand, for there is no man more faithful unto thee than it. For a man's mind is sometimes want to tell him more than seven watchmen that sit above in the high tower. And above all this, pray to the most high that he would direct thy way in truth. Because again, if we don't pray to the Lord to direct our spirits aright, you know, we're gonna be a uh, we're gonna be a traffic jam out here, man. We don't know we're going left, right, up, down, in the middle. All right, and the last thing you want to do right now is to be lost, man. Yeah, All right, you lost, to be lost in the sauce, man. Yeah, for yeah, real. Shit is, shit is happening quick out here. Yeah, like this. Right. Gas five dollars. It just was two, two, two eighty something. Two, you know what I'm saying? It's five dollars now, man. All right. Yeah. Wait, wait the fuck up, man. You know, I asked the G, what major happened the other day? What major happened in the world? Yo, know, Dick. They fucking looking around, man. What are you doing? You know, yeah. things is happening. Executive orders being signed. All right, like what, what? What are you? What are you doing, man? You know, yeah. but it says that's a y'all can Yeah, that he would direct that way in truth. Yeah, it said let reason go before every enterprise and counsel before every action. So again, uh, doing the things which is conducive to the spirit, not conducive to the flesh. And this, and, and we're talking ourselves first, man. Our flesh, our flesh get at us, man. We in the flesh. It get at us, us men on the uh on this lesson. You remember on the comic board, you know, uh men like you know, impatience and their patience and shit get tested. You know, our patience and shit get tested, man. We run it, we run it short in the world, man. But the Lord say uh that he's he's gonna swiftly take us away from. The, 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 the sinful world, man. And we just maintain, man. Because it's getting overwhelming, bro. It's the shit out here is getting overwhelming, man. Yeah, that's why right? he says in uh, Sirach, the second chapter, man, he says basically, woe unto you who have lost patience. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta keep our sanity. Yeah. Stay patient. Uh, all right? Yeah, but we can end it off with Paul, man. Yeah. Paul gonna lay it down perfect, man. He's gonna lay it out there perfect. Of the of that 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 great battle between the flesh and the spirit, all right. This is in uh, Romans, Romans uh, uh, seven and eighteen down down to twenty uh, down to twenty five. Uh. God, this this is the book of Romans chapter seven verse eighteen. It says, "For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelling no good thing." Oh man, go ahead. <laughs> it's nothing good to come with the flesh. I don't give a fuck if you. Supposed to be handsome, you look good, you got beautiful skin, it don't matter. All right, Paul said, There's dwelling no good thing in the flesh, for to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I find not. Yeah, it's finding it hard, man. Yeah, perform the things that are good, the things that are spiritual, man. That's what Paul is saying, and the same thing applies to us, man. Being, being that we're in this flesh, man, we're down here. In this goddamn this this spiritual prison, all right? Go ahead, uh. he gonna get he gonna get down on this one, boy. It says, "For the good that I would would I do not, but the evil which I would that I do." Yeah, the evil that I would not that I do, man. The yeah, the evil yeah. the evil that I would I would not the the. the you know the, the shit that you wouldn't do, you do it, man. Yeah. You don't you don't purposely try to do it. It's the it's the flesh that's doing it, man. Yeah. It's just hardwired in you, man. Go ahead, I. Right? Yeah. That's why the it's scripture it. says too. Uh, uh, the scripture says too, man. It's so bad with our flesh that our spirit has to make intercession to the Most High for us, man. Yeah, it's helping us. Our spirit gotta help us. Yeah, man. Get that. <laughs> that's how you know 
Bob Gashad, get that. Car, yeah, that's Romans. That's Romans eight. And yeah, you know, your spirit gotta deal with the Most High, man. For you, you be I'm wanting to pray. Too. You know, you be wanting to pray, and sometimes you you don't get to pray, man. Con. You know? Yeah, you want to read and you, you want to read, you want to get down and read, you can't read. Yeah, shit bothering you and shit. Yeah, shit going on, shit. I got it. Your mind. That be the flesh. Come. Wait, huh? This Rome is 8 and 26. Likewise, the spirit also help it our infirmities. Yeah, our sicknesses, is, which is again, because sometimes, like you say, we'll be hurting, but shit, we'll talk about the, the scriptures. Oh, do a video I can we we actually we wasn't even fucking hurting for it, you know, yeah, just for, the, for, for, that month, hour, you know, for, for an hour. Yep, yeah, it take the pain away, bro. Just just you know, like is that's the truth though. It says, For we know not what we should pray for as we off, but the spirit itself make an intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Yeah, our spirit, the spirit that lies in us, man. Actually deals with the most high for us, man. All right. And that hey man, that's, hey man, that's powerful in itself. You know, just think of that. You know, well, yeah, you can go, you can go back to the to the uh, it got one more verse. It got one more got verse. One more verse. All right, go ahead. It says, and he that searcheth the hearts, knowing what is the mind of the spirit, because he make it intercession for the saints according to the will of our power. Right. Yeah. So the mind of the spirit. Because he make it, he make it, it. <laughs> you know, you know, the Lord make it so, man. Because remember, the Lord is totally intertwined with our spirits, man. The Lord gives shits about this flesh. It don't make it in his sight. It yeah, don't come around him. Yeah. All right. It's only on earth, man. All right. The earth, uh, the, the first, the, the first man is uh, 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 earthy, as it said, first Corinthians after the earth, man. The second man is spiritual, man. After what? The spirit. All right. The Lord don't, the body died, decayed, rotten out. All right. Because it can't, it, it always was defiled, man. The temple was defiled. But this Romans 7 and back in 20. Now, if I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Keep going. I find then a law that. When I would do good, evil is present with me. Yeah, keep going. How you gonna get down? Yeah. Huh? For I delight in the law of our power after the inward man. After the inward man, which is the spiritual man. Go ahead. But I see another law in my members, one against the law of my mind. Warring. Spirit. Get that word war warring. Warring. Okay. Yeah, it's an actual literal walk going on, man. Huh. I mean, that's, that's what this whole lesson is about, man. It's a fight, yeah. a literal con contention between your, your spirit and your flesh, man. The thoughts and the minds. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> this is it. Charles G, 497. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Antestra tuomai. <laughs> Antestra tuomai. Antestra tuomai. However that be. It says to make a military expedition or take to take the field against anyone to oppose the war against, but this is the strong definitions from 14 to to attack. To attack, man. To attack and destroy. Right. So what, what's happening with the flesh? The flesh is attacking you, man. It's attacking your mind, attacking your, your members, man. Of your body. And then, like I said, the only way you 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 fight that off was standing in these scriptures, man. Staying spiritual, all right. Let me see something. That was it on that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Read twenty three again. It says, "But I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind, attacking it constantly too, because I in this truth." Satan get uh, Satan is letting all type of I mean the Lord is allowing to come you know to a man like you say to a mad mind man you done throw some wild ass shit bro the can't you know the came to your head I like what the fuck you start to question like man is I'm thinking right 
But when you think about it, that's the Lord allowing that to war on your members for your flesh. You know what I'm saying? Right. To keep you to keep you on point with righteousness, man. And only a spiritual man is gonna catch those thoughts too. They're gonna catch you're them. Gonna yeah, catch you're right. In mid thought, like, whoa, what the fuck? What's going what the on? Fuck, man. This ain't this, I ain't even thinking right, man. Yeah. You doubting yourself, you 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 know, your mind is just wrestling. You in, in a lot of times that happens when you're alone too, man. When brothers ain't around, that's why you you wanna you wanna be amongst the body too. Because it keeps your mind thing, it keeps you in the conversation of oh. spiritual things. When you alone with, with Satan, these demons catch you alone. That's when, they, that's when they put those thoughts in your mind to, to act them out through the flesh, man. God. All right? Saying, saying another thing, do Satan send women at you, man, to wrestle with your goddamn mind, man. He send family members, your mother. That's a, that's a goddamn woman, man. God. Aunt, auntie, auntie, whatever you got, what they say in Houston, my tea lady, where they gonna send that motherfucker at you, man? <laughs> See what the <laughs> hell going on yeah. to try you, man. Distractions. It's all yeah, about distractions. distractions. It's yeah. always about distracting you. So who are you? How much? How much of the spirit can you muster out of yourself to fight through that shit, man? All right. You got it's 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 a you have like I said I, I you know I talked about it before. That's a that's a part of that walking on the eggshell thing, man. You gotta you gotta be thinking about every hey man fuck it everything ain't right, man. <laughs> Ain't yeah, nothing for me. Everything ain't yeah right. everything ain't right first until yeah. it get yeah like you said we comb it, through that shit and then be like all right now nah, now nah, that's right like you know whatever yeah, like man. but it's wrong yeah. first yeah that's the approach to everything it's wrong first that's how I think man yeah this brother, it's this wrong brother first. In the camp. come on I I'm thinking <laughs> through first man fuck that fuck man. that is wrong first <laughs> yeah. now you learn that. You learn right, that from like man, shit ain't right, man. Until it's right. Yeah, man. I'm I'm scared. I'm scanning some shit first, man. Yeah. You know? That's how you gotta be. It's sad to say, but that's that's what this this is what the society drives out of you, man. To question, you have to question everything as a man of the Lord, man. All right. Especially with dealing with the society and people of the society, man. You know, not not saying the brothers. All right, or the you know the ones that strive after you know, after the lamb, but the people in the world, the, the different, the very, the very people that's at your so-called jobs and in your family, you got to question shit, man. Scenarios that come up in the play, I don't know about that shit. Oh no, yeah. let me give me give me some time to think about it. Yeah, <laughs> quick, man. Give me some yeah. time to think about that, man. But go ahead, I, yeah, you better, like you say, you better call the brother or something. And be like, man, don't do that shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes your answer is with a brother. I, it ain't with your mind. It's with a brother. Speaking you, to you, you, know, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, it might. You would think like, oh, I'm, I got it. This, no, the answer might be with the brother you call. Does that have to I'm tell your ass? Too, don't do that shit. Don't do that shit. You know I'm what I'm saying? Too. I'm gonna say this too, man. A lot of times, if you got a question, it's too much shit, too long. Hey, man, don't do that shit, bro. Yeah, it ain't right. Yeah, it's not right. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Oh, you got to fit it. You gotta fit it to righteousness. Yeah. You fitting it into righteousness, like right? Righteousness don't need to be fitting. It's just already right. You yeah. got it. Yeah, man. You gotta be, man. Bro, you gotta be yeah. thinking out this day, bro. It's sad to say, bro. That's how it just gotta be. All right. Yeah. You, you, man. Over time and trials and tribulations and it's true, man. Dealing with the flesh. All right. Wrestling, you know, wrestling the flesh with your spirit. Over time, guess what? You begin you you begin to be molded into this hard shell to where if it don't look right, I ain't fucking with it. If it don't sound right, I ain't fucking. I'll fuck, hey man, I'm telling you right now. If you want to go out with me, I will fuck up a, a, a what did it say date night or an outing. Dude. If it's too many, too many nicklets, man, I'm not gonna be there, yeah. bro. Yeah. If, if the scene don't look right, I'm not. I'm, nah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Hey, we living in the world. Where it's probably best if you fuck up a good thing that's in the world. Yeah. <laughs> you know how Jake said, man, I fucked up a good thing. It probably saved your soul, too. Yeah, man. A lot of it probably Lord, seemed good. I'm going to tell you, too, man. A lot of times the Lord be saving you. You be wanting yeah. to do some wild shit where your, your, your flesh, your spirit going to be compromised. You going to be compromised. The, the Lord allowed your car to break down. Just to save your ass, man. You, he allowed you to get pulled over, get that ticket, man. 
Now your mood all fucked up. You want to go home now? But the Lord is saving your black ass for yourself, man. Things yeah. have, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta cherish the moment, man. You know, you gotta, you gotta see what's going on actually through the spirit. Every time something bad happens or seems to be bad, or if it's good, you question it, man. The Most High working, man. He's doing this. He allowed this to happen because of X, Y, Z. If I don't have the question of what, what happened, you got to wait on the answer, man. The Lord gonna give you the answer probably down the line, man. All right, that's how you got to be thinking. Come, on. but finish it out, huh? Right, come. On. Quick, quick, uh, quick pre with what you just said. It's quick. Proverbs to the point. Proverbs fourteen twelve. There's a way which seem it right unto a man. That's right. But the end thereof are the ways of death. So it seem right. It feel right. It sound right. That's Satan. It gotta right. be Satan. <laughs> like if shit just too right. Like some gotta go ping, some gotta go like whoa, whoa, hold, hold on now. Like it, it's perfect. She just laid out the red carpet. This bitch is a ten. This bitch inviting you over, rose petals on the floor. Like, hold on, man. I'm gonna say this too. <laughs> you know? We in a time, we in a time right now leading up to the Passover. We in a time where great attacks gonna happen to a lot of you yeah, men, man. Yeah. yeah. A lot of a lot of attacks from Satan, a lot of attacks on your mind, your body. It's finna happen through Satan, man. Before the Passover, during the Passover, and you best believe after the Passover, man. So now it's, it's best, it's best that you men out there, you brothers that just coming in, all right. You 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 new followers of the of the, of the faith, you better get your get your spirit in order, man. Cause these attacks are coming. All right. Come. It says oh 24 and the rest of 23. I'm going to read 23, but I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity of the law of sin, which is in my members. Oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Yeah, man. I'm going to call this a, Paul call this a wretched, man. Oh, wretched man that I am, man. <laughs> but you know? Paul see. Paul said he got life and death on him at the same time, man. Yeah. He dead and alive at the same time. The Lord told, man. And that's us, too. That's, that's us. That's us, too. That's yeah. facts. Go ahead, it I says, I, I, think, I thank our power, Yahweh, through the Mashiach, Yahweh Shah, our, uh, our Lord. So then with the mind, I, I myself serve the law of our power, but with the flesh, the law of sin. Yeah, man. That's plain. You know? Yeah. Anything else you got up? Yeah. Just, and when you go to that very next chapter, the top verse, the very verse after Paul said up all that in 8 and 1, he said, there, there is therefore, therefore no condemnation to them which are in the Mashiach Yahushai. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. That's it, man. That's the, you know, that that's the cherry on top, man. All right. Yeah, you man. Know, so it's, yeah, I, I read two. It says, for the law of the spirit of life in the Mashiach Yahweh had made us free from the law of sin and death, which is this flesh, man. You got yeah. it, bro. Yeah, man. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Which, point made, which, bro. which side you on? Which one you gonna allow to conquer you? The spirit or the flesh, man? All right. So with yeah. that, there's many other things I wanted to say. You know, Lord, will it come out in some other lesson, whatever like that? Brother, you got anything? That's it. I point me. Yeah. So we hope that was edifying. Until the next time, to the next lesson. We we'll give all praise, glory, and finality. How up? By Shimmy, I'm shot by Shimmy. That will honor to the elders, apostles, apostles, GMS, peace and blessings once again, and salutations to the whole flag. Shalom. Shalom.